Hello everyone. Um, we're going to try a new format because I, I figured out how to record my screen, which is amazing. Um, so I've been making a lot of videos about fascism and just to clarify, <laughs> I am not a fascist at all. Like ask my closest friends, like no, hardcore, no, I'm anti, anti, anti-fascist. That's part of the reason why I was making all those videos about fascism. Uh, the other part of the reason is it's a time period and it's an, uh, a concept that I find very, very interesting. Uh, the, third, the 20s through the 40s were a very, very tumultuous time period, I guess you could say. Um, though I guess, I think that goes without saying. Um, so, and you know, my great-grandpa fought in the war. His brother died in the war to kill the fascists. So, in no sense of the term am I a fascist at all. But here's, here's what my thought was. So there's this game, Democracy 3, where, you know, you, you become the president of a country and then you adopt certain policies and then it tracks your policies along a political compass. And I thought it would be interesting to try to take what we learned from those videos about fascism and apply it here and just kind of see where where the fascists would line up so let's go ahead and start a new game so we're gonna play as America we're gonna turn America into a fascist country so we're gonna start playing so here we have our party's name we can make our own party there's a whole bunch of other parties down here but we're gonna name our own party we're gonna be the literal fascist Actually, literally fascists. Opposition party, doesn't really matter. It could be anyone. Um, here, I'm going to set it to no limits. going to give us a bit of a longer term length. Um, let's leave natural disasters on. Honestly, they've never come up. Ever? Now, here, here's the thing. I tested this out yesterday a couple of times, and <laughs> what ended up happening like every time was I got assassinated, <laughs> which is, I mean, fair enough. I mean, I'm turning the country into a fascist dictatorship, so fair enough that, you know, the land of the free, someone would shoot me. And otherwise, you know, I kept winning elections. That's kind of the scary part. But... I kept losing because I kept getting assassinated. So we could play it that way, but the main purpose of this is to see like, if we fully implemented the fascist program, what that would look like on a political compass. So in that regard, I'm going to turn on monarchy, because who needs voting? And I'm going to drop this difficulty down to zero. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you're watching this, I'm like, how to best play Democracy 3. That's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is to see what a fascist country might look like, or a fascist America might look like. So, let's get going. I'm going to start playing, <laughs> misinterpreting the Constitution, gerrymandering constituencies. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. So, we won our election victory. Yay! We are now the President of the United States. The literal fascist party has come into power. Seems like right off the bat, we have a problem with our health system, and we have a problem with crime. So that would probably be our first, first things to tackle. So this is kind of what the game looks like. It's very, very simple. It's a very small game. But there are different policies, so there's like transportation policies, there's policies around law and order, um, taxes, services, on and on and on. Now over here we have our income, our expenditure. So we actually have a budget surplus, well that's interesting. But we do have a, quite a bit of debt. Now over here, this is what we want to be focusing on. So these are the different graphs, and you know how I love my graphs. But well, for our purposes, we're going to be looking at this compass. So this is kind of a modified version of a political compass. Um, we have capitalist over here, socialist over here. I guess you, 
there's some problems with this particular political compass insofar as it would be easier to it would be more clear to say that over here the farther we go this way the more free market we are the farther we go this way the less free market we are and up top we have conservative and down here we have liberal and again that's a bit iffy in terms of terms normally what it is is that the more we go up up the more authoritarian we are so the more we want to boss people around the farther down we go the more libertarian we are now this game for whatever reason decides on using conservative and liberal I don't entirely agree with that particular phraseology but that's essentially what it means the higher up we go the more authoritarian the lower we go the more libertarian and then over here we have our threat assessments. So good, minimal threat assessments. Now, this is where <laughs> I kept running into problems in my test games where I would keep getting assassinated, <laughs> but we will see what happens. We can also come up with our own policies over here. We're definitely going to be making use of this, especially with uh, law and order and foreign policy. So, and then over here, we have, this shows our level of political capital. So this is how we get things done. So right now we have 26 political capital. So for instance, if we wanted to change something with the police, it would take 10 capital to raise it, 19 to lower it, and 48 to just cancel the policy entirely. All right. So, and then we can click on this. We have our different advisors. They all give us political capital. But right now, I actually want to save up some political capital. We do have some problems. Um, so for instance, violent crime is a big problem. And here we can see all the green lines are things that are contributing to violent crime. And all the red lines are things that are trying to stop violent crime. Same thing over here with unemployment. That's a big problem. Um, so all the red lines are trying to stop unemployment, all the green lines are contributing to unemployment. And then what's interesting here is you can follow this green line. Sorry, hold on. Pull it back up. There we go. So there's this one green, there's some green lines that go to other things, like for instance, homelessness. So unemployment is contributing to homelessness. And up here we have the amount of time that we are in in office. So when this bar fills up, we're supposed to have an election. Now I don't entirely know what's going to happen since we are a monarchist and we're on a zero difficulty, but let's take a look. Um, at any rate though, this is the primary thing that we're going to be looking at. My prediction is that as we are implementing our fascist policies, that we might end up somewhere around here in this area. That's my prediction at least. Let's take let's take a look at it. But the thing is, I want to save up for a little bit. So I'm going to just skip to the next turn. So we have 16% support. Well, that's not good. <laughs> still have problems with crime, still have problems with health. So now we have 53 political capital. Our maximum is 54, and here's where we want to get in. As a, since we are playing as literally fascists, I'm going to implement compulsory military service. Everyone. Periodic service. Everyone must join. And this, of course, is going to make the youth rather mad. This is going to make liberals rather mad. But conservatives and patriots, they are going to love this. They're going to be very, very uh, in, uh, in favor of this. Along with this, popularity with voters. Turns out this is actually a, a popular thing. So let's apply that change. And you'll see that our political capital has gone down. And let's see, let's implement it. Ban alcohol advertisements. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There is a proposal for a law to outlaw the advertising of alcohol on television. Although it would remain legal to advertise on radio, billboards, and other means, a TV ban is seen as a potential way to reduce alcohol intake by our citizens. So I can either reject the ban or approve the ban. Now, if we remember back to some of the videos on, on fascism, 
the fascists were, especially the Nazis, were very, very interested in public health. Um, that's why they, some of the earliest studies that connected smoking to cancer actually came out of, from Nazi doctors themselves. So, considering that one of our concerns as literal fascists is public health and in, in the, in the ways that public health impact the state, we are going to approve the ban on alcohol advertisements. Our polls are up 42 percent, but crime is still a problem. So let's try to, let's see what we can do to address that problem. So let's take a look at armed police. So widespread armed police. Let's bump that up. We're going to give every police officer a submachine gun. That's what we're going to do. And then on top of that, just the police force in general, we're going to have the maximum police force possible. Poli cops everywhere, and every cop is going to have a submachine gun. Now let's see, what else could we do? Intelligence service. Now this is where, <laughs> in my other games, I kept getting assassinated. So the intelligence service is going to help us track down people that are in opposition to the government. It's also going to help us identify terrorists and the like. So we're going to bump this up. Spy satellite network. Go. So we got seven left. What else could we do? Or I could save it. I'm going to save it. Let's keep going. Oh, cool. Got an aerospace contract. Our polls are up to 50%. That's good. Oh no, the Patriot Party has warned that it will disrupt government meetings and events to make its opposition felt. Let's take a look at that. Threat assessment. So the Patriot Party is rather mad at us. Church of Christ is also rather mad at us. Traditional Values Alliance. Well, that's all very interesting, isn't it? How much do we got? 30. Let's save up for one more turn. I got big ideas. Ban tobacco advertisements. Proposal law to outlaw the advertising of tobacco on television. Yes, smoking hurts the general population, which in turn hurts the state. And so as literal fascists, we are going to approve this ban on public smoking. Popul uh, popularity is up to 52%. And look at that. By giving every cop a submachine gun, and by having a lot of cops, our crime is going down. Still a bit of a problem. Other problems that we need to address are also GDP and unemployment, but our health system definitely needs an overhaul. But let's keep focusing on crime for right now, because that's actually something that is very popular with people, limiting the amount of crime. So let's see. Private prisons. No, let's not touch that right now. Prisons. Now here's one thing that I'm not entirely certain of. Um, so if I slide this all the way over here, it then has extensive rehabilitation. So instead of focusing on punishment, it's more on rehabilitating people. If I slide it down here, it's overcrowded cells. Now here's where I'm, and right now we're at basic provision. Now here's what, something where I'm not entirely certain on what exactly the fascist position would be. And as I'm playing this and as I'm going through it, if you find yourself in disagreement with something I've, I've done, uh, put it in the comments below and we'll have a discussion about it. But my feeling would be that it would be towards extensive rehabilitation. And the reason for that is... Um, it's kind of like a re-education camp. You have done wrong to the state and to the people, and you must learn about how and why you have done this wrong. That kind of idea. But again, it's. I could also see the argument the other way, that they'd be like, no, nah, whatever, you're a criminal, just throw you in jail. Um, so I'm going to go with extensive rehabilitation for right now, but if you disagree with that, let me know in the comments below. And we can definitely have a discussion about it. And same goes with any of these policies I'm putting into a place. Confirm political capital. Now, we are also having problems with our unemployment. So road building. We're definitely going to bump this up. Uh, the Nazis 
had massive public works programs. They built the um, the Autobahn. The Italians also had massive public works programs, draining ditches and stuff like that. So we're going to definitely bump this up. Major new no road networks. Connected to that, we're going to bump up rail subsidies. We want our railroads to be strong because they are part of the national interest after all. And biofuel subsidies. I would get the feeling that they would support biofuel subsidies insofar as um, like for instance the Germans were very technologically advanced they were very forward-thinking in terms of technology uh, you know the V2 rocket program and all of that and um, if you've seen or if you've read the man in the high castle there's actually like a, a it's kind of weird to think about it, but there's like a Nazi environmentalist angle to that show, which is interesting. And, I mean, in ways it does make sense. I mean, so pollution leads to uh, more people being sick, which puts a strain. It's a, it affects public health. So by increasing biofuel subsidies, we're going to be lessening our oil demand, which means um, there will be less pollution, which means that there will be less of a public health problem. So I think that the fascists would probably support biofuel subsidies. So now we're down to two. Um, thankfully, all of our people are pretty loyal still. Uh, that was another problem in um, my other playthroughs is I was doing things that my, my advisors like just did not like at all. <laughs> and so they kept quitting. And so as time went on, I just I couldn't do as much as I, I was planning on doing it for for this. So I, I wonder if by bumping down the, um, what's it called? By bumping down the difficulty, I wonder if that'll be affected. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Lobbying ministers patronizing the electorate. I like these little loading screens. That's funny. Vigilante mobs is now at an end. Good. We are taking back the streets. Debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the, u in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from the people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. So we could limit the agency activity. These agencies are preying on the weakest and the poorest, or we could allow the agencies to operate. Now, if you remember back to the videos on fascism, specifically the one about populism, the fascists very much categorized themselves in a way that, you know, we're fighting for the people, the rich and the lobbyists and the, and the arist aristocracy. They've had their way for too long. We're here for the people. So I'm going to limit the agency activity. We got 54% approval. That's a little disconcerting, isn't it? Oh no, our GDP is going down. That's not good. The crime's going down. Still a bit of a problem. We definitely need to address this health issue, though. But we will see. Now, let's hit another one. Just save up. Antisocial behavior is now at an end. Good. Unemployment, though, is going up. That's not good. So let's take a look at our compass. See, look at that. Interesting. So we're actually <laughs> becoming more liberal. I don't, huh. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Let's see what, why would that be? Okay. All right, so our health problem is kind of big. Let's take a look at state health services. We're going to want to bump this up. Excellent health provisions for all citizens of the state in order to maintain the health of the state. Um, we're also probably going to want to up these pollution controls. Wow, we still have a surplus. That's a bit surprising. We're kind of... I thought we'd be blowing out the budget by now. Um, gated communities. 
drastic solution to serious street crime and vandalism. Gated communities are basically self-policed residential areas. Self-policed residential areas. I don't agree with that. The literal fascist party probably would not agree with that. Everyone, we're all a holistic national community. We all suffer and strive together. Plus, why are we making a difference? Why are we why are we drawing attention to a difference between the wealthy and the poor? No, we're gonna we're gonna discourage gated communities. Alcohol. So we can bump it to low strength beer only, so like Utah. <laughs> Or we could bump it down to no limits. Anyone, babies can buy a booze. If I remember correctly, Hitler did not drink, and plus, this is this is contributing to our alcohol consumption, which contributes to our health, negative health impacts. So let's just strong restrictions on alcohol consumption. Oh, no one likes it, but I don't care. <laughs> Public smoking ban. For reasons that we've already discussed, yeah, we're going to ban public smoking. 52%? Okay. Oh, but look at that. Our crime is dropping drastically. Let's take a look at some of these other policies. Import tariffs. Yes, we're going to do import tariffs. We're going to bump that all the way up. We need to have our, our national industry strong, not subverted by foreigners. Freedom of information. There have been calls for a law to increase the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. These include the records held by private medical companies, insurance companies, and debt collection agencies, as well as information held by government departments. So they want, the citizenry wants the, the government to be more open. It's essential that we have a law that's passed as it is one of the checks and balances required for a truly free society. Checks and balances? No. As the literal fascist party, the people ought to support the government. The government knows best, so we reject this proposal. Our, G our GDP is going down. <laughs> you know, I've played this several times, and that always happens. The GDP just tanks. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Historically, the fascist economies were pretty weak, especially compared to more free societies. Um, technology colleges. Yeah, let's bump that up. We want more technology. School vouchers. Measure designed to encourage the growth of private schooling. No. No. There should be no private schools. Not in this fascist country we're trying to build, everyone must be going to the same school and learning the same thing. So we're going to cancel this policy completely. We're going to get rid of it. <laughs> Bribing international media moguls. 55%? Okay. Global economy is doing okay, and we are in neither a boom or bust cycle. Human Rights Society has been criticizing government policy on the radio. How dare they? How dare they criticize us? Let's see what we can do over here. Police drones. Hmm. Seems like a good idea. But we want to we're trying to get our economy back up because we're having troubles with that. Agriculture subsidies. Yes. We need food. The state must be strong with food. But buying votes. <laughs> Making impossible promises. That's so funny. Oh no, our law and order minister resigned. That's not good. Uh-oh, our crime is going back up. Unemployment's going down, but our GDP is also going down. We have a 66% approval rating, so that's good. And we're still being criticized by the Human Rights Society. How dare they? See, now the problem is, as we're implementing these kind of policies that are pretty radical, let's just be honest, some of these policies are pretty radical. Hold on, though. I'm going to I'm gonna hand, hire Nancy Bryant. I just now realized that this is a lady. <laughs> I played this like three times last night, you know, prepping, and I didn't realize that this person, I thought this person was a man. 
That's pretty... <laughs> All right, Nancy Bryant, you're hired. Anyway, what I was saying was, as we're doing these radical policies, let's just be honest, a lot of these policies I'm, I'm implementing are pretty extreme. Um, like giving every cop a submachine gun at all times, that's pretty extreme. But as these, you'll notice that our maximum amount of political capital is actually going down. That's a bit of a problem. Um, so we're going to be able less and less to do things that we want to do. Um, and that was a continuous thing. So I wonder if that's even affected by the difficulty. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at our compass, though. Huh. That's weird. I was not expecting that. we got to bump up that authoritarianism, don't we? So let's... Law and order. Let's do some police drones. Police drones everywhere. You'll be watched. Big Brother is watching you. Children's food. Law has been proposed to regulate the fat content and nutritional value of children's food. Yes, obesity is a major problem with severe impacts on people's health and thus the health of the state. We shall do that. Would you look at that? We've got 71% of the vote. That's crazy. Let's see. Conservatives like us. Patriots like us. State employees like us. Everyone. Lots of people like us. Parents don't like us. I wonder why. Prisons. That was prison tagging. Ah, here it is. Prisoner tagging. Let's bump that up. Every prisoner shall be tagged. It will be followed up with by agents of the state. There's also the death penalty. Um, well, that takes a lot <laughs> to raise it. Um, in one of the previous test playthroughs I did, I bumped this up to where it was for most crime. <laughs> most crime had a death penalty. And you'd be surprised that that... <laughs> Amazingly, that lowered crime by a lot. <laughs> We're just gonna kill you. Jury trials. The state knows best, citizen. We're gonna... N no more jury trials. Oil pipeline attacked. Oh, that's not good. Got 70% of the vote. Unemployment is going down. Crime is going down. Our health is improving. That's good. We still, this is still a big issue. Let's take a look at this. Ah, let's do some food stamps. Our people are hungry. So we'll roll up our sleeves and do what we can to cure our disease. Rent controls. Yes, let's do rent controls. Don't want the rich exploiting the poor. State pensions. If you're a loyal citizen, yes, you deserve a state pension. Speed limits. No change. Uh. This again goes back to issues of public health. No change. We're not going to raise the speed limit. Did you know, like, statistically, if you raise the speed limit by, like, 10, like, it increases car accidents by, a, like, a whole bunch? <laughs> like, it's crazy. 32. Okay, so our capital's going back up. Let's take a look at our compass. This is very surprising to me. I'll be honest with you. I was not expecting this. Like, we started up here, but somehow we're becoming more libertarian, <laughs> which I don't understand, really. Um, how about state schools? No, not enough. Let's just save up a bit. Homelessness is now at an end. Good point, senior judge. Strong supporter of human rights. <laughs> nope. Concerning violent crime. Surely, Morgan, you are hired. So crime is down. Unemployment is down. Health Still not doing very well. Now let's go back to schools. 
We want, we want the best for our students. The, the children are the future after all, so everyone, we're going to bump up state funding of schools. Food Standards Agency, yep, we're going to bump that up. Need people to be eating healthy food. Tobacco tax, oh, that's going to take a lot. Well, we're going to raise that in just a second. Terrorists captured, good. 81%. So, approval. Isn't that a little concerning? We're, we are implementing a lot of fascist policies, and yet we're becoming very, very popular. Might that say something? Science. Well, what were we looking at? Oh, yeah, it was the tobacco tax. Let's bump that up. Got to improve our health, after all. Pollution is now at an end. Yay! Point to UN ambassador. Janice Morris is a known patriot. Hired. Because, again, fascists were very, very deeply, deeply nationalistic. Alcohol abuse is now at an end. Doctor strike is now at an end. Look upon the fascist utopia we are creating. DNA database. Police chiefs are requesting that they be allowed to build up a global database of everyone's DNA. Yes. For the sake of the state, we shall do that. Hurricane. I guess that's, that's the only impact a hurricane has. Oh, okay. So poverty is down, unemployment is down, GDP is going down, so we need to start doing stuff to bump that up. Our health is improving, so that is good. Let's take a look at our compass. So we're starting to shift more towards this way, but I'm still very confused why we're going down. It's very strange to me. I would not be expecting that. Rachel Powell, you're hired. Internet tracking. So increasing capability of large corporations to use customer databases and big data to analyze consumer behavior. Concerns about privacy. We could ban the tracking or allow the tracking. And here's the thing. With the idea of Gleichschaltung, coordination, all of society needs to be coordinated, what we could do my, my sense is that the fascists would allow this tracking by corporations insofar as it would also benefit us. Like we could then access that tracking data for ourselves. 83%. All right. Law and order. How about we could do tasers? Let's do tasers. Let's give every cop a taser. So they got submachine guns and they got tasers. Okay, so here's here's the deal. Now it's our time for an election. We got our party, the opposition, non-voters. Let's see what happens. Now keep in mind I did bump the difficulty down, so this is not really a full representation of what might be happening. In fact, I haven't even gotten one assassination attempt. <laughs> In my previous ones, I was like, there were attempts all the time. So maybe I should go back through and play it like normally, but let's, let's take a look. Incredible. We got 74% of the vote. The opposition barely showed up. Let's take a look at the breakdown. Socialists really liked us. Commuters. Liberals. That's interesting. Maybe that has to do with the difficulty. Because I've been doing a lot of things that the liberals should not be liking. Um, in fact, you know, the fascists really did not like the liberals. We should probably, we should probably take a look at what we can do to <laughs> get this down. Poor really like us. Farmers. Youth. 
stay employees, capitalists. Huh. So maybe, maybe this is a problem then. Because I've been doing a lot of things that would not... Capitalist plot. Oh my gosh. This is the first plot that we've had so far. Our intelligence network has identified a potentially serious plot by a number of wealthy industrialists to force the overthrow of the government. The plot seems to be in the early stages. We are not in a position to make arrests yet. But it is clear that some capitalists consider it desirable to engineer a replacement for the current government. You should be cautious. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. So let's take a look. What, what exactly? That's very strange. Oh, maybe that has to do with the difficulty then. Because look, I'm doing a lot of things that the liberals do not like, and yet I got a lot of the vote. So maybe that does have to do with the... the um, maybe that does have to do with the difficulty then. Same thing with the capitalists. Look at how many things I'm doing that they do not like. Um, parents? Why are the parents mad at me? Handgun laws... Handgun laws. No, oh, we shouldn't have handguns. Let's try to get rid of those. Hold on. That's going to be our next priority. We're going to get rid of handguns. Failed assassination attempt. <laughs> Secret Service agents today saved you from a highly organized attempt to assassinate you. A lone sniper with a high-tech rifle was arrested just 200 feet from where you were planning on meeting some teachers at a school. The assassin was confirmed intelligence service suspicions that he was hired by a top-secret group of hyper-rich industrialists known as the Battenberg Group. It seems there are a number of extremist capitalists who want you dead and your government out of office. Hmm. Well, that's trouble. Let's take a look at the security briefing. So it looks like the Black Power, they're very mad at me, and also the Battenberg group. Well, that's not good. We will see then. Ah! Alright, so I think we have enough. Where was it? Handguns. So, handgun laws. Some countries allow virtually unrestricted ownership of any kind of firearm, whereas in others it is strictly controlled. Now, I think this is relatively accurate you know, in its starting spot. Uh, in the United States, there are, you know, with the Second Amendment, um, it is pretty easy, relatively easy to get a gun. Um, machine guns, of course, are banned. Uh, but, like, for instance, there are open carry states, like Arizona. Arizona is an open carry state. Same thing with Wyoming. And Wyoming and Arizona both have concealed carry laws. So... Technically, you don't, if, as long as you are 21 or, and are legally allowed to own a gun in the state of Arizona, you are allowed to conceal the fact that you own a gun on your person. So you can walk around with a gun in your waistband. I think that the fascists would probably ban guns. Because, I mean, after all, the people don't need them. The people have the state. And... The guns, if we let the people have guns, they might try to overthrow the government. And so, let's just completely ban them. And hopefully that'll make the parents happier with me. P pandering to the media, that's funny. Capitalist plots, again. Software patents. Software patents are a form of intellectual property law that allows companies to protect algorithms that implement a new technology. See, this is where, even with all the, the research I've done on fascism, I'm not entirely sure what they would choose here. Partly because this was a, a concept that wasn't really around when they were in power. I think that they would probably allow software patents. But if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Okay, let's take a look at our compass. Okay. <laughs> I'm still very confused by this. I would expect that we'd be going up. I mean, we have cops on every corner. We don't have jury trials. We have police drones. I would expect that it would be going up towards authoritarian, but for some reason, maybe it has to do with the difficulty. I'm not sure. Maybe I should run through this again on a, with a normal difficulty. 
Let's save up some capital. Lining up retirement di directorships. Turning a blind eye to corporate tax avoidance. That's funny. Oh, wait. We need to hire. Honestly, I'm probably not playing this game as efficiently as I should be. I don't really take a look. I mostly am looking at these numbers here. There's probably a way to min-max it all. Let's take a look at military. Let's see what's going on over here. Foreign aid. Some foreign countries have very poor economies. Why as we as nationalists and fascists would care about that? We're going to just get rid of this policy. No more foreign aid. Let's take a look at border checks. Border controls. Not some kinds of customs checks at your borders. Your country is open to the problem of mass illegal immigration. That is a problem especially as nationalists, we don't want others coming in. So we're going to have retina scans everywhere to make sure there are no illegal immigrants. This capitalist plot. <laughs> Maybe I should be thankful I'm playing on the lower difficulty. I could have been killed by now because that's <laughs> that's what keeps ending all my other games. In fact, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to save this really quick. Myers is not letting me do it. Huh, weird. Don't know why that's not letting me save. But that's okay. Let's take a look at some of these other things. Law and order. Especially since we have this plots, plot these plots against me. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I was at the lowest difficulty. <laughs> you have been the victim of a carefully planned assassination. A highly skilled gunman put a bullet right through your skull using a high-tech sniper rifle when you appeared at an event to open a new school. All the clues lead to the assassin being hired by a secretive group known as the Battenberg Group, thought to be controlled by a number of hyper-wealthy capitalists. It seems you let your government get on the wrong side of some very powerful and rich men. Oh no! <laughs> I'll be 100% honest, I was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the experiment with fascist America is at an end. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe it's for the best. I don't know if I countenance, you know, political assassinations, but we were becoming a fascist dictatorship. But I'm still rather confused by this. Um, maybe I should run through it again. Maybe I'd do another recording. Uh, maybe with a different difficulty setting. Because that was very, very strange to me. That for some reason we were going down. In terms of our liberalism. When we were doing so many policies that should have been pushing us up to authoritarian. So maybe it has to do with the difficulty. But I think I disagree with, with where it was putting us. So it was putting us like down here in the like the moderate liberal area, and I don't I don't really agree with that. But anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun. Maybe I'll play it again. I also had an idea of playing this as an extreme libertarian <laughs> and just kind of seeing how unelectable libertarians are. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. If you liked this format, let me know. I, I think I might play other things in a similar way. All right, guys.